if you're in a relationship and you only have five positive interactions to one negative interaction, then the relationship will end. It's too negative. But if you have more than 11 positive interactions to one negative interaction, then it also ends. And you think, well, that's pretty bloody peculiar. Why in the world would that be? Don't you want like a hundred to one positive to negative interactions? And the answer to that is, what makes you think that you want a relationship so that you can be happy? Or at least happy moment to moment. Wh why do you think that? Uh, it's, not, it's certainly not the case. It's, you know that too, because you, I, I, mean, I bet you there's not a person in this room who hasn't rejected someone because they were too nice to them. Something like that. person's no challenge. It's something like that. You want someone who, you know, you can get along with them, but now and then they bite you and you think, oh, that's, that's interesting. You know, I didn't really expect that. And then you go and puzzle over it for a while and you, you torture yourself about it. And that's one of the things that keeps you really linked into the relationship. And the reason for that is that part of the reason that you want the relationship isn't so that you're happy right now. It's so that you can live a high quality life across multiple decades. And so you're looking for someone that you have to contend with who's going to push you beyond what you already are and who's going to judge you harshly often for your limitations. Now, that'll make you angry and all of that, if, you know, and, and resentful, and maybe you'll take your revenge and, and, and all of that, but you don't want someone who thinks you're perfect in your current form, partly because why would you want to go out with someone that deluded? <laughs>